Hello friends, in this video I am going to discuss about Joule effect which is very important to understand the operation of the magnetic sensors. Okay, so let us try to understand what is Joule effect. So in electronics you might have studied this Joule heating effect that is basically H equal to I square RT but this is not what I am going to discuss in my this video. Obviously this is also Joule's effect but this is called Joule's heating effect. Okay, but with respect to magnetic sensor, if you consider the Joule's effect, that law is not equal to this. What is that Joule's law with respect to magnetic effect? Let us try to understand. So, any ferromagnetic material, FM, in short I have written, don't confuse this FM with frequency modulation in communication system because this is indicating ferromagnetic material, okay? So, an ferromagnetic material consisting of many tiny oval shaped permanent magnets, okay? So, this line indicates nothing but this figure, okay? You already have uh, seen this figure in your school test physics. That any ferromagnetic material is made up of small, small, tiny magnets, which are basically oval shaped. And the tiny magnets are arranged randomly, okay? They are, they are direction of magnetization, you can say, or the, the, uh, the magnetic field produced by the small, small permanent magnets are in random order, in random direction. So, as a result, the overall magnetic field or magnetic property produced by this overall ferromagnetic material is zero, okay? So, as they are randomly arranged, so ferromagnetic material with uh, external applied magnetic field equal to zero, it will not show any magnetic property. But we have, if we apply some external magnetic field, then the small, small, tiny magnets will arrange in a proper order and it will make north pole and south pole and it will then act, then the ferromagnetic material will act like a uh, magnet, okay? So basically that's what I have written here. When the material is not magnetized, that is obviously when a ferromagnetic material is going to be magnetized when we are providing external magnetic field right so suppose you are not providing external magnetic field then it will not be magnetized right so that's what when the material is not magnetized the domains are randomly arranged the domains means the small small tiny magnets now if we apply external magnetic field then the material will be magnetized because the domains will be arranged in a proper direction and you know how the domains will be arranged the domains are oriented with their axis approximately parallel to one another that means suppose you are applying the external magnetic field in this in this direction then what will happen to the domains the domains will arrange like this okay see the domains will make their axis parallel to one another and it will arrange in the direction of the uh, externally applied magnetic field that is in this way it will arrange okay now let me take different scenario suppose suppose you are applying Suppose you are, you are applying external magnetic field in this direction. Then what will happen? How the domains will arrange? Or how the small tiny magnets which are basically forming the ferromagnetic material, how they will arrange? They will arrange in this direction, right? Because you know these things uh, from the basic school days physics so that I am not going to di discuss these things in detail. So you know, right, the, in this way, the small, small, tiny magnets will arrange uh, their uh, axis parallel to each other and they will uh, mismap according to the applied external magnetic field, fine. Now, see what is going to happen if we apply external magnetic field. So consider the second picture, okay. This picture when no applied magnetic field is there, okay. That means in simple words, when H is equal to 0, the domains are arranged in a random order. So, this is basic uh, structure of a ferromagnetic material when we are not providing any external magnetic field. Now, suppose you are applying magnetic field in the vertical direction in this way, okay. See the direction applied vertical magnetic field. So, what will happen? The small, small, tiny magnets which are basically forming the ferromagnetic material will arrange themselves in the direction of the applied magnetic field and it will arrange in this way. So, suppose, see what is happening. So, these small, small, tiny magnets are nothing but basically oval shaped, right. That means elliptical shaped or ellipse we can consider. Now, I have drawn here one ellipse. Now, this is another ellipse, this is another ellipse, like that, okay. Now, this is the major axis, this length is basically the major axis length. 
which we also call generally according to convention 2a and this length is minor axis length which we generally consider as 2b obviously here a greater than b x square by a square plus y square by b square uh, equal to constant formula you know right the, the locus of the ellipse now if we suppose you arrange the ellipse in this way the new arrangement of the ellipse is like this okay now see what is happening initially i will show you here by different color initially when the ellipse are arranged in the random manner they have taken this much amount of length right now when they are arranged in this particular fashion they are taking only this much length right so basically if the ellipse are arranged in this manner they will take smaller length compared to the initial this case okay that's what is going to happen when we are applying this type particle magnetic field in the ferromagnetic material initially the ellipses are arranged ellipse means basically the basic ferromagnetic small small tiny magnets okay these are arranged in this random manner now when we are applying vertical magnetic field they will arrange in this direction and due to this arrangement what will happen the length is decreased i have already explained in this just you try to understand from this logic you try to understand in this ferromagnetic material so whenever you are providing vertical magnetic field see what will happen uh, the ellipse will turn in the direction of the applied magnetic field and they will arrange in this way that the length is reduced compared to the case when no applied magnetic field is there okay so basically delta l okay there is change in length which is basically denoted by delta l and this minus sign indicates that the length is reduced okay so basically there is change or reduction in length if we if we apply the vertical magnetic field in this way and why this is happening you can easily understand from the basic concept of ellipse right okay now just consider the another case suppose you are applying the uh, horizontal magnetic field see the magnetic field direction in this direction okay so this is the this first diagram is the case when no applied magnetic field is there so basically all the ellipses are small small tiny magnets are arranged randomly now as soon as you apply uh, horizontal magnetic field the ellipse will arrange in this direction so as a result what is what will happen see again i will show you by the basic fundamental concept see try to understand suppose this is one ellipse this is another ellipse okay and this is one more ellipse this is when no ferro, uh, when in the ferromagnetic material no uh, external magnetic field is applied this was this combination was taking this much amount of length now try to understand the new combination new combination is ellipses are arranged in this fashion so all the ellipses will become like this right so as soon as the all the ellipses are like looking like this now see compared compared to the initial case now it is taking longer length okay that's what is going to happen so initially the uh, small small tiny magnets are arranged randomly like this fashion that is h equal to 0 that is no applied magnetic field now as soon as you apply magnetic field what will happen the length is going to be increased suppose l is the initial length that is this much now delta l amount of length is increased for the final case and it new length becomes l plus delta l okay so basically this is nothing but joule's effect so joule's effect is trying to correlate the elastic property of a ferromagnetic material with its magnetic property okay so basically due to application of external magnetic field okay what is going to happen the length of the ferromagnetic material is going to be changed okay so from this figure it is quite clear that if we apply horizontal magnetic field it is going to be increased delta l amount and if we apply vertical magnetic field it is going to be decreased length is going to be decreased by delta l amount okay so this is basically joule's effect that is the change in the dimension of the ferromagnetic material due to application of the external magnetic field okay so this concept is very important to understand the working of the magnetic sensor this is all for my this video for more videos related to electronics and communication engineering and uh, different software based experiments like matlab multisim or kill microvision based 8051 experiments please subscribe my channel and don't forget to press the bell icon and if this video is helpful uh, to boost your concepts in understanding the sensor uh, working of different sensor then please like share and comment thank you for watching